Okay, we've taken the um, honeycomb tray out and placed the um, rotary table on a piece of aluminium. Drop the table down as far as we can go. This is a 75mm bottle, I'd say that would be maximum size. Okay, we've run the belt, run, we run the one belt on one side. I get another belt and I'll um, should be able to run both sides. I've placed O-rings, as you can see, on that other roll on the back because the glass just slips on the aluminium. And uh, if I get this other side driving, I'll put rubber O-rings on both sides. Basically, I lock up the um, Y-axis so that the um, only one that's moving is the X-axis, which is across ways. Up and down now becomes rotary. And that's plugged in, the lead runs across into the Y-axis on the board. Basically, then we just set up the height, check our focal length. On this one's only a small focal length, so focal length between there and there, and check it both, check on both ends, move it along, and make sure that your head is moving. I've, oh, there's a line in this bottle, so I've made it so that the, the head moves straight up and down along the line, so that it's moving parallel in that direction. Um, so that it's because because it's not it's only going to be rotating, not going to move in that direction. So the head has to be in the centre of the bottle, and the focal length from the total distance has to be the same. Okay. When I turn it on, I turn it off now. When I turn the machine on, it will look for its zero. So the bottle rotating, rotating, and it'll just keep rotating. So we to stop rotating, push, hold that. It keeps rotating reverse. If we then release it, but we want it to stop, push and rotate until it stops. Now, the one I've got to do is fairly large, so it'll be about there somewhere. But it's getting to the stop, I've done it, I'm getting it to stop in the right position is going to be a bit fun. Okay, now I'm going to basically set it up ready to do an engraving or a rose. I'm going to only run at 20% power. Actually, I'll run 30% power. And it's 80% uh, black, the image, which is on a rose. Okay, you tick the rotary fixture, and I've changed the diameter, which is the diameter of the roller, to 30 mil. This is the rose, it's ready to go. When I hit start, it's running at 250 millimeters a second. And a few things will happen, which are a bit of a nuisance. I've set at 30% power. But when I hit start, it will look for the zero again. So then I've got to try to make sure it binds back up onto here and on the glass in the right position. I've got to work out why that's doing that. Okay. So the bottle's going round and round. It's found at zero on the x-axis. Now, if I release that, it's going to try and, try and um, engrave wherever I release it. So I'm just going to try and get it. Okay. Now the biggest thing with glass is the slippage. Now this is going to get a frosty look about it, um, and it looks like it's turning okay. But if it's slipping, you'll get the width to be wrong, uh, you might get lines, you might be doubling up in the same position. So the main thing is on glass is to get it so it doesn't slip. This is looking pretty good already. I'm pretty, that's a very nice, that's a 30% power. It's a nice looking frosted finish on it. Um, yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with that. That's going to work well. I will let it run and then turn it off when it's finished. I'll re-record when it's finished to show the outcome.